So welcome back. I've explained how to find um, the length of a line segment. Yeah? And now we're asked to calculate the distance between each pair of points. And I've made two questions. Question A, point six, four, and three, one. What is the distance between those two points? And the second question is point zero seven and minus three, one. And what the distance is of the line segment between those two points. Now, perhaps you want to try them yourself and put this video on pause. Perhaps you want to have a look at the first one, then pause it and try the second one yourself first before you look at my workings. Okay, so I'll leave that up to you. So I go to a new sheet. Yeah, this is the same question, question A, uh, with the same two points. And they're asking me, what is the length of the line segment connecting these two points? And I am really not a fan of remembering those formulas. Eh? Or was it d equals the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared? Very complicated. Eh? I probably already lost you. What do I do? I'll make a quick sketch. Yeah. So nothing too accurate. 6, 4, 6, 4. Let's say that's roughly there. So that's 0 0.6, 4. And 3, 1. So that's less than 6, eh? half, 3, 1. Well, that's roughly over there. That's three, one. Okay, now, so we're interested in the length of that line. And to calculate a length, we can do that when we have a right angle triangle. Because then Pythagoras told us, yeah, and we are very grateful uh, uh, yeah, that he told us that, because we use it all the time, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And you always have to make sure that you identify the hypotenuse correctly and you know by now that the hypotenuse is that side across the 90 degree angle because c is your hypotenuse so in this case with these types of questions you're always looking for your hypotenuse aren't you all right a squared plus b squared now let's call this one a and that one b but you could turn it around yeah it doesn't matter as long as you call this one c the hypotenuse what is the length of a well that is a horizontal move he's doing yeah, how many steps is that? Well, all the way here, that is six, and the x-coordinate, and all the way there, it's three. So let me just write down six minus three squared plus, what about b? Well, it's four here, yeah, that is point four, and over here, it is point one, yeah. So four minus one, that's the length of that line. Yeah, so this is 3 squared plus, and that is going to be also 3 squared, and that equals c squared. 3 squared, eh? that is 3 times 3, that is 9 plus 9 equals c squared. Okay, so 9 plus 9, that will be 18 equals c squared. That makes c the square root of 18. Now, if you grab a calculator for that, you know that your answer now should be somewhere between 4 and 5, eh? where 4 squared is 16, so it's too little, 5 squared 25, that is too much, but let's have a look, what is the square root of 18, should be between 4 and 5, exactly, it says 4.2426408687, but we always correct that to three significant figures, an angle to one decimal place, but all non-accurate answers, three significant figures. So one significant figure, two significant figures. Then the next one is the third one, the four. Does it stay a four? Does it go up to a five? It depends on the next one. It's lower than a five, so the four stays a four. So the length of the line connecting my two points, six, four, and three, one, the length of that line is 4.24. Okay. Now perhaps you want to pause it before we go to the next question, which is the following question. What is the length of the line between these two points? And I will go a little bit quicker now. We sketch it, yeah, because I do not remember any formula. Uh, math is not about remembering anything. 0, 7. 0, 7, that'd be roughly over there, 0, 7, and minus 3, 1, roughly over there, minus 3 and 1. Okay, so we're interested in the length of that line, 
and we turn that into a right angle triangle like that. Okay, Pythagoras a squared plus b squared equals c squared and c and yeah, the hypotenuse that is the length we're looking for huh, across the 90 degree angle. Now what is the length of this one? Well it's 0 here minus 3 yeah so that is a length of 3 and if you like you could have said well that is 0 the x coordinate here minus minus 3 square plus what is the vertical length and what is it over here it's 7 and there it's 1 so that length is 6 and if you like 7 and minus 1 yeah okay so that is 3 square um, plus 6 squared equals c squared 3 times 3 is 9 6 times 6 is 36 equals c squared 9 plus 36 45 equals c squared so c is the square root of 45 and that is well between 6 and 7 and eh? 6 times 6 is 36 7 times 7 49 so it will be pretty close to 7 let's have a look square root of 45 equals 6.7082039 and a little bit more but three significant figures 6.7 and then the next one is my third significant figure it's a zero does it stay a zero or does it go up to a one it depends on the next number and indeed it goes up to a one 6.71 and please always take take time uh, in rounding at the end then eh? you lose a small amount of points if you do it wrongly as yeah, so you've done every complicated uh, all the complicated things correctly and then you forget to round properly and you lose some points yeah so it may always take some time there 6.71 so just to summarize do i have to remember complicated looking formulas uh, to calculate the length of a line segment no absolutely not it's fantastic that the book gives it to me but i understand where it comes from it is pythagoras yeah it is one length of the triangle squared plus the other length of the triangle squared equals that distance squared. Eh? So that's where the square root comes from because in the end you always square root it eh, to get the answer. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Have a look at the next videos to get more explanations. All the best.